Hey guys, Roby here with Divi Engine. Welcome to the Divi Formula documentation. In this video, we're going to be looking at the redirect feature that you'll find in our plugin, Divi Form Builder. We won't be getting into too much detail here, so definitely check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com for other videos and support articles with more in-depth information on how to use all the features you'll find in Divi Form Builder. And don't worry if you get stuck, just submit a support ticket and our awesome support team will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, if you're ready, let's go. Okay, so for those of you guys that don't know what a redirect is, basically all it is, it is your form telling the browser to take the user to a specific page based on whether the form was submitted successfully or unsuccessfully. So why don't we take a look at what our form does right now? I'm Jonathan here on the front end to this form that I have here. I'm gonna type in my name and I'm gonna say, yeah, I like bananas. I'm gonna submit the form. And there you see a message that just shows, it says, okay, cool, thank you for your message. We'll be in touch shortly. But now I wanna show you what this form will do when we put a redirect in there. So let's go to the back end of this form. And I've got my form here. I'm gonna go into the form module settings. And then I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here. And here you'll see the redirects. We'll expand that. And you'll see that it's got two options here. It's one for a successful submission and then another for a failed submission. So let's toggle on the successful submission one. You'll see that a new field gets opened up here, which basically is just a spot for you to enter the URL that you want the user to go to upon a successful submission. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in our Divi Engine website, https colon forward slash forward slash diviengine.com. And then I'll just go ahead and save this on the page. Now on the front end here, we're gonna refresh the page and we'll just go ahead and I'll type my name in here. And then I'll say no to the question. Does it really matter what you put? What is important here is that whether it's a successful submission, it should take us to the Divi Engine site. So let's hit submit. And there you go. Instantly takes us to the Divi Engine site where you can go ahead and have the user see additional information. It might be follow-up information that the user might need. There's a lot of different things you can do with this um, and help the user understand better what the form is for. It just depends on your specific use case. Okay, and now similarly, if we go back into the form settings here and scroll down to the redirects, we will see, let's switch this successful submission redirect off and the unsuccessful submission failed one on. And you'll see that very similarly, exactly the same, you can punch in a URL there that you want the user to go to in case the fail gets submitted unsuccessfully for some reason. Now this might be a support page you want them to send them to. It's really entirely up to you what you decide here, but it is a powerful feature again that can help you mitigate a bad experience on the user end. So, and just another great feature you'll find in Divi Form Builder. And that's it, guys. That's all I got for you on the Divi Form Builder redirect feature. Now, if this documentation video didn't cover exactly what you were looking for, definitely check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com, where you'll find a ton of text and video documentation that will further help you master the Divi Form Builder plugin. Now, if you do get stuck, don't hesitate to reach out to the support team, and somebody will be sure to help you out with that issue as soon as they can. Now, that's it from me, Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.